Ok, let's go back to Locad. We can add the additional target language here. And here we could add our namespace. And here we could import our JSON file. Or we could also add new languages and namespaces on the settings page. Here on the settings page we can also define all other settings. We'll use the CLI to upload our existing translations. Install the CLI and then we make use of the migrate command. Our existing JSON files should work without any issues. We need an API key for this task. So let's go back to Locais. Here in the API tab we can find our project ID and an existing API key. But let's create a new API key for this migration. Choose the admin row and optionally give a name. Copy that API key and let's get back to our code. Use that API key as argument for the localize migrate command. And we also need the project ID, so let's also copy and paste that one. And finally, the localhost path. That's it! Back in localize, we can see our translations have been successfully uploaded. We don't need that API key anymore, so let's remove it. With the CLI, we can synchronize the local translations with the translations in Locais. There are various options and rules for this, but we will only make use of the download command now. This means the translations are only managed directly in Locais and for our code we download them. Let's create a script for that. We need again the project ID and the API key. And finally, the appropriate path argument. That should already work. Let's check. Let's change something. Save that. Execute the script. Yes, it works. But why does this work? First, let's change that back. If we go to the settings page, we can see the latest version is set to auto-publish mode. This means every time the translations get changed, they are automatically published to our CDN and the Lokai CLI can download them. 